that guys today I have a bird's butt in my face but we are going to do an enclosure build thousand dollars thousand dollars I had most of it just hanging around in my yard but it's about a thousand dollars I worked it out to be for this whole build and this would make a monster's life so much happier check it out hang around let's go Oh dear God, it's been raining for days. So that's the first half. I'm just put the mesh on the bottom. Now I gotta build the back half. What do you want from me, my love? What do you want from me? Hey, sweetie. Come to me. Oh yeah, is that a horse stable? <laughs> so, we have to drag it. <laughs> nice long screws in there. A few hundred screws over there. Tell me this is a good idea without telling me this is a good idea. Let's see how this goes. Back. Yep, stop. All right, and now go slowly, slowly, slowly. Keep going, keep going, keep going. A little bit more. And good. Yeah. That's all right. You're doing good. That's all right. somewhat of drainage so it's an off level and it's got a mesh bottom so hopefully the water will just flow out there and doesn't puddle up we're gonna see so this whole side is lifted off the ground a bit we'll see if that's adequate but yeah So, I've already put in the little female. She was pretty friendly. I had a look over her. She gave me a couple of little scratches. It's right. Um, but this is the big female. And she hasn't been held. She's just been like a pit animal. Like every bird. So, it's going to be interesting. A bit scary. I may have to pin her. Because it's the only way without getting a mad bite. And these guys will hurt when they bite. So, um, we'll just see how this goes. And, um. I'll get the mail out as well, and we'll do that as well. I will see where she's at. Draw like this end. There. She is on to me, man. Like straight away, this end carrying on. You can see her in there. So. To do this without getting bitten, um, probably just gonna have to grab her to be honest. And it's gonna look pretty rough, but like it's just 
is what it is. Let's just test that theory. Yes, he's ready to go. It's alright, darling. It's alright. I'm being very soft with my hand. But, um, she, she definitely doesn't <laughs> like this. So we're just going to throw her straight in. Um, I've already got one in there, so I'll drop her from quite a distance. She will. You ready? Alright. Come on down. You're right. You're right. It's alright. It's alright. Uh-uh. Let go. Here. Shh. Hold it. And get on top so I can do a release, hopefully. Shh. Her tail's still wrapped around me, but we're gonna go. Boom. So she's the fastiest one, the biggest, fastiest. And you can see her down the back. She was actually all right. She was pretty chill. Still got a lot of building to do in here. Um, I'm gonna be. In, you'll see me in a minute. I'm gonna get in there and build a little hut for them and fill up the water, give them a couple other things to play on and um, yeah and probably add some more sand as well this is just to get them out of the containers because they've been in there for a while but they're all three of them have lived together before so there shouldn't be too much of a hassle as when I picked them up they're all living together as well the little ones obviously hissing at her saying what's going on but so this is the male one, um, he's large as well, uh, turns out that they actually grow 1.4 meters, which is like 4 foot, 4.5 foot, which is like just shy of the lace monitor. So these guys actually grow pretty big, um, I'm not sure of their age, I'll have to, pick, I'll have to ask the guy I got them off, um, but yeah, so we'll just get try to get the male out. I'm not sure his temperament at all. Um, but again, all three of them were kept um, like in a in a Avery sense. Um, he's not flaring up. This guy's not flaring up like the other one. He's running. But he's not flaring up. The other one's hissing. Yeah, so this guy seems to be okay nice big black head on him and then just hold him there anyway I'm being very gentle sorry 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 buddy sorry 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 look at if you come down here buddy if you come down here look how big and black his head is and this is the male. Um, so these, I'm assuming these guys are about five, six years old. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, so they will actually get a lot larger. A lot larger than I thought anyway. So that's pretty cool. So these guys are the sand goanna. Um, also known as the racehorse goanna because they just can run so quick. And that's why I'm being so cautious about holding them like this outside of the cage. Um, but these guys are found basically everywhere across Australia, um, just not down the colder climates. Um, uh, and they are actually known by some Aboriginal names as well, which, which is uh, sub Bungara and uh, by other nations, uh, Tinka. So just uh, different tribes around uh, Australia have named these guys. So I'm going to just throw him in there, try not to make it too, he's not bitey, uh, his claws are ridiculous. Right, we're going to just throw him in, he's beautiful. Boom, all three. Look how much darker he is. Um, that's good to know, because I'm got to figure out the determine them separately I'm not sure if they're like 
um, the inland taipan or anything and they might change color a little bit when they're hot or cold um, most probably do most reptiles will um, also fun fact is they actually can eat the inland taipan they're immune to the venom these are very uh, reptile hunters are the gowanas the aki monitors that will hit the aki monitors the dwarf monitors all that kind of stuff but um they will literally eat anything birds anything mammals anything but um they do hunt reptiles as well but how cool is that guilds monitors sand monitors the racehorse guanas how cool is that um one day i hope to put them in a bigger exhibit but we'll see but at the moment this should be fine this is um 3.6 meters this is yeah so this is a 3.6 meter wide cage uh long cage by 1200 wide at 2.4 tall something like that something. yeah about there yeah but um yeah fully fully goanna proof underneath the sand here is mesh um you guys probably have seen that in the little snippet beforehand obviously very sharp claws awesome but um i'm gonna try to slowly train these animals with food get them friendly enough that i can get in there without any hassles and pick them up so <laughs> stay tuned for that i guess how cool is that guilds monitor so we're down here just fucking playing with the new lizards eh? no I just put this in, I'm just about to cover it with soil. It's just an old bit of pipe, uh, metal pipe. Just put a couple more logs in, just give them something to do. This isn't obviously the finished product, but this would do for the evening. And then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna put some soil over that, make it like a hollow. And then, yeah, these guys aren't too bad. Hey, bud. There you go, mate. Beautiful, how beautiful is he? Hey mate, yeah, you're probably hungry guys. Right. I'm gonna get some food, some water, I'm gonna do all that. Now I'm gonna see if you guys are tongue fed at all. Not the best, but it will do for now. Um, some shelter and then we will figure the rest out on a new day just see if they take food Ooh, big one. It wasn't very extravagant, but he did take it. I'm, I'm hoping big, the big girl. I'm going to leave some on the rock up there. I didn't expect them to take it straight away to be honest. Um. But the boy did, so we'll try to get the, I'll try to get the boy coming out. Yeah. You want to finish that by now? Let's just finish the other one. I want them to get to a point where they rush over and bring them up now. Come in. 
I'm not trying to grab it again, I promise. He just took it again. Oh, I'll just put the rest down and then um, let them sort it out, I guess. I wanted to try to see them all eat, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear a hiss. So this is just some steak because I had some steak last night. Leftover steak, but raw, not cooked. They're not going to get that all the time. It just happens occasionally. Uh, sweet. She's eating. That's the little one too, the little girl. It's awesome. Straight away. So good. You see a big bird that comes in and sucks them down now. Yep, here we go. Look how beautiful she is. Looks awesome. So they'll probably get, they probably can get nearly double that size if they can go four foot. She would only be what? Three foot max. So probably another foot on her would be a full grain. Yeah. So cool. First time having sand monitors and it's awesome. I did um, on the venomous handling certificate there was um, you had to grab a it was a pretty sure what was it I uh, can't remember exactly what monitor that was um, but to hold a monitor two foot and above you have to do that for the venomous handling as well so that's pretty cool it's just, if you've had monitors, you know what you're going to have to do. No, that little one just smashed it. Get it all, girl. Sweet, all three of them. How polite. Look at their manners. Beautiful table manners. Hell yeah.